welcome to the start of the next episode. <laughs> Far out. Far out, that is intense. The ferocity, far out. Jeez, there's rats and mice going everywhere. Last long though, does it, sweetie? Yeah. What do you think? That was goodness, That was absolutely insane. Okay, here you go. <laughs> yeah, it looks like it just burns off the um, all the. I don't know what it burns off, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, but. Absolutely insane. It's just incredible. I mean, look at that. And it goes up into that. Now that's insane. Jeez, it's just burnt. You put the one flame there, then it goes. It's just incredible. Hmm. Well, quite a satisfying job if you work like this. Who's on top of the car? I'm on top of the car. Hey, I'm on top of the car. Here we are perched up at the Burdekin Cane Farm. So we're on uh, Greg's property and it's a working cane farm. He's got about 300 acres here all in cane and um, he takes you around and shows you all about sugar cane around the Burdekin region which is really really interesting and you know the campsite here is bloody beautiful. You camped on the uh, little river here on the Burdekin River and in amongst mango trees so really 
awesome spot. And we rolled in here yesterday after you know, leaving Rollingston and going straight past Townsville and came straight into here and saw that awesome cane burn which uh, you would have just seen. So the teacher's been busting out the schoolwork this morning, she's just having a break from that. Um, I'll be just been doing some editing, getting episode 19 I think in the mix and um, then we're gonna have a bit of a look around the area hopefully get some footage of uh, the cane harvester doing its thing but yeah I've never learnt so much about sugar cane as we have in the last 24 hours <laughs> <laughs> so, it's a really interesting cool place though um, I'm glad we come in 15 bucks a night power and water can't go wrong Alrighty, here we are at Bowen and we've just stopped here and we're going for a swim down there. So we went down to check the beach and I was like, get the snorkeling gear and goggles stat. It's amazingly clear down there. It's a beautiful beach. Uh, Horseshoe Bay. And the wet Sundays. So Sunday let's get into Sundays. it. Okay, so we're here. We've been here for less than like three minutes, and Leticia is already in the water. Terry hasn't even come back from parking the van and car in a longer spot, and she's in. Goggles on. Really nice down here, very protected. We're just ahead of the uh, stinger season, which hopefully is the case. It appears that no one else is jumping up and down in agony, so maybe we're right. But very nice. Sort of reminds me a little bit like um, Bay of Fires, Tasmania, except it's actually warm enough to be in the water with all the rocks. Obviously, none of them are that red, but same sort of formation. Anyway, I'll go snorkeling and I'll take some pictures. Well, this is not an interesting rock. Well, welcome to Bowen. We're here at Horseshoe Bay having a swim, a bit of a cool off after leaving the cane farm this morning. So, that was a pretty awesome stay. Oh, no, on oh yeah, Greg, loved it. Greg's farm. He's, ma he's madly passionate about cane and Explains everything to you, so that's pretty cool. We learned a heap about sugar cane that we never knew. Yeah, once again, someone else put up with all my questions. Hey. Answered them for me. But, uh, yeah, I'd, uh, I'd highly recommend that. It was yeah. a good stay, really good stay. Good chilled out two days. So we're just having a, um, just having a cool down swim here in Bowen, because we can. <laughs> Thought, why not? Yeah. And then we're gonna head down to Airlie Beach which is another 80 k's down the coast. So I think this is the start of the Sundays. I don't know what island that is out there, but um, beautiful. Yeah, it's not Hitchin Brook. Yeah, it's not Brook, Brook. But magnetic. beautiful, same coloured teal water as, uh, that you get in WA, but it's actually warm here. Look, I'm in. <laughs> Tell you what, Bowen's a bloody beautiful spot. Plenty to explore around here. We were going to stay here one night, but we've decided, Letitia and I have decided to push on down to Airlie Beach so that we can just chill out for probably about four days down there because tomorrow is Rhonda's birthday. So we're being nice to her and um, planning it so that she doesn't have to set up and pack up on her birthday. <laughs> so we'll do that today, get all that stuff out the way and tomorrow she can just sleep in, we can do brekkie in bed or whatever else and just spoil her for the day down at Airlie Beach. So that's the plan. 
can't come to Bowen and not get a photo in front of the big mango. Big bugger too. Woohoo! Righto, sweet, come out and get your smile and gear ready. Well, we've got a bit of a change that's happened since we've left our little swimming spot this morning. We're now driving into that. We've got lightning, reports of small hail, and how much was the winds? 90 knot winds. 90 knot winds. So, uh, yeah, at the moment it looks like uh, cross the pine definitely. Maybe the tail end sweeping into early. But it does not look good out the driver's window today. We got 21 k's to go, and I think it's heading straight for Early Beach. So <laughs> I don't want to be hitting this at um, 100 k an hour. So hopefully we get to Early Beach before it hits. Yes. We'll see. Well, we made it without getting hailed on and drenched. Wait, there's hail coming. Yep, but. I think we're going to cop it um, just as we're starting to set up because have a look at the radar. I didn't know there was hail. Fun, 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 sitting up in the rain. <laughs> well, we got in, we got set up. It's only lightly sprinkling, but there is, there is thunder and lightning all around us so well, I'm not going to hang around too long outside. <laughs> uh, good morning, it's the 21st of October, day after Roger's birthday. How was your birthday? Amazing, very good. <laughs> well and truly spoiled and looked after, wasn't I? Yep. And today we are off on a flight over the Great Barrier Reef and then a boat ride to Whitehaven Beach. Whitehaven and something cool. Yeah. But don't know about this cloud cover. So meh. That's right, see hopefully what you can see love heart. and love heart. The love heart coral outcrop. That's all we're looking for, isn't it? Yeah. Righto, let's get into it.
well, good day and good morning. So we left uh, Early Beach and we had a great time in Early Beach. The obvious the highlight was uh, the flight over the reef and then the swim at um, Whitehaven Beach, that was amazing. The caravan park, it's the weekend now so all the, all the weekend warriors have turned up. <laughs> so the caravan park was out of control busy, but that's okay. And um, we knew it was going to be like that anyway. So that's why we always aim to leave on the weekend. And now we're at our next spot. So check this out. Beautiful little spot. Welcome to Lake Proserpine. And yeah, you just camp around the lake. It's beautiful. It's only eight bucks a night. Really good spot. I reckon we'll be in for a good sunset here over that mountain but we're here nice and early it's still what what's the time now babe uh, 20 to 12. there you go just um just past 11 30 so here oh it's only 50 k's from early beach and this is us for the day we're going to chill out and you know, do a bit of reading might do a bit of bacon sun bacon and i've got to catch up on some editing i've read three chapters and you've been smashing your book out, haven't you? Look, you like my new shoes? Oh, you're rocking the daggy Crocs. Oh, have a look at this, what I got at Daily Beach. Don't know if the camera's picking it up, but we, Rhonda and I got smashed by midges at uh, Daily Beach. Yeah, midges or sea lice in the water, we don't know. But um, Rhonda and I are covered in them and the t-shirt was protected so by a wetsuit yeah she had a wetsuit on when we did the here, the though. snorkeling so she was spared but i've been absolutely nailed and on your other leg and on your back looks like i got chicken pox anyway it's chill out time all righty here we are to the sunset over here at What's this place called? Lake Proserpine. Pro uh, uh, Lake Pros Proserpine? Pro Proserpine. Whatever. I don't know. The sunset. Lake, Lake Proserpine. It's beautiful. Sure is a beautiful sunset. It's perfect degrees out here. Unlike in there. Yes. Watch the sunset happen. Welcome to Lake Proserpine in the mornings. And it's absolutely beautiful here today. So, we just finished packing up. We're about to roll out of here and we don't know where we're going yet. <coughs> Making our way down to Mackay. And we got some mail that uh, is getting delivered to my so we've got to hang around. School work for Letitia. So we've just got to hang around and figure out when that's getting delivered and make our plans based on that. But um, Lake Proserpine, beautiful. Not a bad spot. Beautiful spot. <coughs> Alrighty. Let's get uh, on the road and start making tracks to Mackay. Yep. Hi. A successful trip at the shops. I got another Whip William David Wallings book. We'll show you some footage of Sugar Shed. And you'll get to see me stuff very fast on my face. Can't wait. I'm going to have a sugar rush at the end. And the parents are going to have to suck it up and deal with it. So, yeah. Let's get into some sugar.
Serena Sugar Shed done. Tiki, tiki, tap. Yep, we got a nice little haul. <laughs> and a nice little ice cream. And some grog, of course. Close, Close the loop on our sugar learning. Yeah. Hey, Dad, yeah. look what ice cream. Rocky Road. Cool, there'll be some dad tax involved in that. Oh, right, we're just gonna roll up to the showgrounds here and camp in Serena for the night. Mm -hmm. Well, here we are at uh, Serena Showground. And how good is this? Power and water for 20 bucks. I'll take that any day of the week. Thank you. Let's see what's going on inside. We shall. Let's take you. Go inside, investigator. You might say to bring me the. Ooh. It's dark in here. Mmm, it is. What's up, Buttercup? Uh, I'm going to tell the people that I set up the van. Here, you go and start the question. Hey? You go and start the question. So, I have learnt a gazillion jobs right now in the caravan. I've learnt the most important thing, how to put the TV up. I've learnt how to do the shower. Do the shower... What are those things called? Air vents. Air vents. I've learned how to do these things. Uh, what else? I pretty much learned how to set up the whole band, pretty much. You've done an amazing job. Oh. All right, we're just getting organized to head out of Serena here. And we end up staying another day just to catch up on a few things, catch up on some schoolwork, get some editing done. And we both got haircuts, <laughs> which was much cheaper and easier than doing it in Mackay. Yes. And you know, for 20 bucks, power and water, can't go wrong, so we're all caught up, about uh, ready to roll out of here and head down to Notch Point. That's right, I remember it was. Yeah, and far out it's hot today. So we'll get rolling here in a minute, go and get some motion potion, and, and away we go. Point Beach was a big tick from me. Right on the beach here, beautiful breeze coming in the van. Couldn't argue, 
walk down to the beach, cows on the beach. Not a horrible road in, but I've had better. Interesting. Road in. Interesting. But it was good. Now a lot of work today. Good yeah. effort on some schooling. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Anyway, we're we'll packing catch up. you up to the next spot. Getting ready to roll out. We've had a nice morning here, relaxing. Done some, lots of school work. We're going to sit, chill, coffee while looking out at the beach, which is really nice. Yeah, really nice breeze. Really good. It's a um, seven day max stay, I think, at a time here, but it's free. Property, private property beside, cows. We've seen some little wallabies too, yesterday yeah. and today. And yeah, really nice. Probably not great in a very windy day, but could not extra better at the windy. moment. For um, cool breeze, nice sun, easy Dad's walk got on the beach. T-shirt off. Oh well, we better go outside and check that out. Yeah. See you at the next spot. G'day from your poon, and yeah, rolled in here yesterday. It's a beautiful little park, Discovery Parks. I really, really need to get better at this. Discovery Parks, Cool Waters, Yapoon. So we're about, I oh know, it's about 9k out of Yapoon, which is fine. Uh, so we've just had a cruisy morning this morning. We're just ripping through as much schoolwork as we can because it's all got to be sent back and you know processed by her teacher prior to the end of the school year so you know they can hand out awards and all that sort of stuff so that's why we haven't really been doing anything in the forenoons because we're just concentrating on getting as much school work done as we can but we're done for today and we're going to go out and explore around Yapoon Yapoon Lagoon. Yeah, it was really yeah. good. Oh, it's an um, incredible free facility in Yapoon, perfectly pl uh, placed. So you can either go to the beach if it, or if it's windy like it was when we were there, just go to the pool, hang out in the lagoon. And it's um, by far my favourite for the year. It's I reckon it's better than the Cairns one. Mm. Yeah, we can actually swim in this one. There were people doing um, laps and everything. It's deep enough. Yeah, there's a few deep spots in it, so awesome spot. Get to the lagoon. So today we're doing a bit of tiki touring and we're going to go out and explore I'm Byfield. Drive track. Yeah, we're going four-wheel drive and finally doing some four-wheeling. And we're going to through the Byfield National Park and out to a place called Five Rocks. It's supposed to be pretty good four wheel driving all the way out there in Five Rocks. Five Rocks is a really nice spot to have a swim and get a snorkel in. So that's what we're up to today.
think it's air down time. Just send it up here because it's getting thicker and soupier and softer. Yeah. Jeez, it's gonna be rough though. over the GoPro. I know, it's all over me. Yeah, I see. <laughs> you got blasted. <laughs> Far out. <laughs> Holy dooly. Big Sandy conquered. Far out. She's heavily rutted and the bloody traction control was working overtime. There was sand going everywhere. Old Noddy was working hard. Had a have a go at the track. Super soft, massively rutted, um, and no other way around it. I mean, these are really, this is probably the biggest wombat holes I've um, driven with this car. And um, yeah, nailed it. Surprised how well it did. And they're all off camber, you can see. You know, that's different, that's, you know, not opposite. Nice and easy. Um, you got offset 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 good fun good four-wheel driving fun byfield national park loving it sand is freaking like lava though <laughs>
need, mate. No need. Well, we made it. But we've got to do a vlog here because it's blowing its absolute ass off again. Like it uh, has been for the last three days. We've been hanging around Yapoon. Well, it's a beautiful, pristine beach that we've got. Well, we thought we'd get all to ourselves, but <laughs> there's a whole bunch of other people here. They've done that track as well. We're gonna have some lunch here. Rapparoonies. Raps again. And might go for a bit of a walk and explore. Sounded good. That's a flick of sand. Oh yeah, sand was flying everywhere. We're trying to get out of here with uh, <laughs> as little damage as possible. But um, the track's that tight at times, it's, you just go through it like this. So yeah. Not really made for a big wide patrol. Well, that's a successful day wheel and done. Car's got a few pin stripes on it, a few new pin stripes, but ah oh well. <laughs> that's what happens when you get out and do the rough stuff. Anyway, got some baked potatoes on the go here, gonna have some dinner, and we're rolling out of here tomorrow, heading to Rockhampton. So, that's a Yapoon wrap. Well done, Yapoon. Like this place, very nice.